Xbox on snap. You got uh, you got white, so we should be good. Oh, you got the white pants. Hold on. Hold on. Now nah, you good. Go ahead, and get the white ones if you want. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we should have an exciting matchup on our hands as we join you from Lincoln Financial Field. Two incredibly dangerous tight ends getting ready to create problems <coughs> for the opposing defenses in this matchup, Phil. Man, when you're a quarterback, there is nothing like having a good tight end because you know why? Because he's close to you. So it doesn't take great skill to throw the ball five or six yards from where you're at to a tight end who can catch it nowadays and not only just catch the ball, get you about 10 or 15 extra yards running with it. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Give me a second. I'm gonna gotta uh, make a lineup change real quick. That lemon tea, though, boy, hit the spot every time.
heard you pretty nice, so this should be a good, good test for me. They come to the line, and it's first down. Foles, handoff. Johnson's there to take him down. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. Second down here after that run play. McCoy keeps his legs moving. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Let's set the defensive lineup. One of the best safeties in the game out of Tennessee is Eric Berry. He can run and he can hit and he can get it done. That's why he's one of the best safeties in the NFL. Every team needs a great safety, and they have one right here in Eric Berry. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. An extra tight end on the field for this one. And incomplete. The defense does his job forcing four I seen you. in a hurry. I was testing him. So now they'll call on Jones to punt the football. Hey, my girl sleep too. Thomas going to take this one from the 20. This is a big time return. Special teams is usually overlooked in football games, but it plays a big part in winning and losing. How about that punt return that time? Good job, good blocks, and a good run. First down, offense readying for the snap. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Just a quick drop back. Smith connects with Bo, and he's going to be tackled right around the 43. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle, and you give up a long game. you got your players in position. That's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. First down here after the completion. The Chiefs step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring them down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. On offense today, out of Notre Dame at tight end, six foot four, Anthony Fasano. Hey, I saw Anthony Fasano, Jim, play high school football back in New Jersey. He is a really solid tight end, really good block with the line of scrimmage, and also can go down the field and catch those passes. The Chiefs will take the snap from the 45. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards.
connects with Bo. Gains 15. Hard to play man to man against such a quality receiver. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Charles is lined up as the single back. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Connor Barwin makes the tackle. Here's a guy you have to game plan for all week long if you're on offense. Looking across the ball at Trent Cole, knowing he's coming after you. Yeah, Trent Cole gets lost in the NFL. Uh, people do not pay attention to him as much as they should, but he can win a football game all by himself. After running it, it's second down. Offense lines up here. will run it with him again. Looking for space. Left side. The tackle's made and the first the edge, down man. is picked up. Dang. Charles is a great running back to have on your football team. Isn't he? he goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Jenkins is lined up now as a slot receiver. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Dropping back three. Throws to the right. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Well, when your touchdown offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lip to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Inside of the uprights. Drew first blood. Let's go, fellas. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Sproles on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 26 yard line. to the line of scrimmage first down it's a two tight end formation makes the catch brought down at the 44 there's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times but one thing you want to do throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. McCoy lines up in the backfield. Foles is standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Offense lines up here. Foles has got it in the gun. He has the grab. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. This quarterback is one of the best game managers Thank in you, the sir. league. He never forces the issue that time. Nobody opened deep down the field. Man, you know. He gets the short completion. Trying to get better, man. It's not really my game. 